Hey there, geeks! Adam coming at you again with part three of this Wizard Hall video. It was just going to be two, but there are just too dang many comics to go through in this mystery log box I picked up recently. If you haven't watched parts one and two, we had a whole section on all the wizard treasures I found inside, then the Marvel and DC. Now let's get into some of the indies. What do you say? First up here, there was a stack of Valiant. Of course, I'm always excited to see a Joe Quesada... Yeah, Exo Man of War Chromium cover. Now, I already have it, but I'm not complaining. Speaking of already have, there were a bunch of issues of Exo Man of War, which is a great series. This in particular, this Bart Sears cover I love. A um, lot of good stuff when he teamed up with Turok. Okay, but I've read them. I love them. Somebody else should read them and love them if you haven't checked them out yet. Okay, there we go. A few more. Ooh, yeah, that one's dramatic. Now, there was also this random Oz sketchbook, this wonderful Wizard of Oz sketchbook from Marvel. So, I don't know if anybody was super into that series when it came out. All right, next up here. Find out. Okay, yeah, this is <laughs> kind of a grab bag here. Do you remember these WizKid comics? Am I wrong? Yeah, no, I was just going to say, didn't you get them at Radio Shack? There it is. Yeah, so definitely remember picking these up back in the day. Mom, it's educational. Um... Now, look at this. So, we got some of Neil Adams' continuity comics here. So, The Zero Patrol, that was number five. We got four here. What's this one? Oh, this is number one, and there's several issues in here. So, I can learn all about The Zero Patrol, which, again, not familiar with. This is cool, though. An Adam Warren Dirty Pair comic from Dark Horse. We're going to be talking about him a lot on the show coming up. So, something to stay tuned for. Uh, Rip Off Press, okay? This is Miami Mice. So I don't know if you've seen these. There was like, what, like the radioactive teenage hamsters or something? Like, they, there were all these funny, like, uh, animal book parody things. Um, now, this is weird. Dynamite Comics. I don't know about... Oh, this... Okay, so this is John Carter stuff. Deja Thoris. Oh, it's a little... Woo! <laughs> Get a little hot in here. Uh, there we go. Here with some Alex Ross, though, with Ming the Merciless. You know he loves his Flash Gordon. I didn't realize they did a whole series, so Merciless, The Rise of Ming. Get a look at all his uh, prehistory, the little prequel of how he became so evil, I guess. So, look at that, yeah. Um, also, this one here was weird. The Prodigal Son from Archie Comics. My question is, I oh, it is, yeah. Barber Christian Comics. I knew that Archie had a period where they were doing, like, heavy... Duty Christian comics, so now I have one. How about that? Let's check it out. There's more. There's still more. All right, this is fun. I always love to grab, if I can, a licensed comic book or an adaptation. How about The Abyss? Ooh, from Dark Horse Comics. That's awesome. Quantum Leap. I don't know if you watched the new series. It's meh. But hey, here we go with Quantum Leap number one, so that's cool. Um, and then there were a ton of Star Trek comics. That was Star Trek Generations. And then here's some Deep Space Nine. And then this series here, which was Star Trek Ultimate. And as you can see, it's Marvel and Paramount Comics is the deal here. And I believe they were also involved in the X-Men Star Trek crossover that Top Cow Studios did. But there's more Star Trek Unlimited. I say Ultimate Unlimited. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Star Trek Voyager, or, oh no, this one's the Early Voyages, two copies of that first issue for some reason, and then more Early Voyages, but there is Voyager comics, that's why I got confused, I was like, there's the Star Trek Voyager, okay, there we go, Chakotay and everybody else there, okay, all right, yep, there's more. All right, so I, I did promise in the last video that there would be some image. So I did get a Bloodstrike comic. Look at that. Is that Stephen Platt? Yep, there it is right there. There's the splat. So a Stephen Platt Bloodstrike cover. I know Gabe from Gabe Loves 90s Comics is looking at that right here. Extreme Sacrifice begins here, and he's teamed up with Prophet. Uh, there is also an issue of Witchblade, but it is coming apart here. This is uh, not in great shape at all. Uh, that's from 97. And then an issue of The Darkness, although this is, it says it's a first look, so I think it's just a little preview comic, because it's only 99 cents! All right, now, uh, what else? We, oh, yeah. Then there were these, you know, I showed off in the first video, there were a bunch of old comics. 
this is kind of a cool like lone ranger comic from dell uh just it's obviously super waterlogged doesn't smell great either uh daffy duck comic there uh but then uh, there were some other image books that i picked up now we used to have a lot of the Liefeld image stuff. Why? Well, we were trying to be comprehensive. Then he blocked us. There's a whole drama there, and we just have fun with it. Um, so we, we sold all our Liefeld super cheap, just a, a smack in the face. Uh, but then here, they actually had some issues of Youngblood. But the reason I grabbed them is if you look here, you, somebody out there is a major fan of image and can explain this. But if you look, there... This is obviously the first, because look at that inking, and look at the coloring, and then look at the difference here. So, so it was two different, it was the same cover, it said it came out the same year. They both said they were first printings, which I didn't believe when I looked in the indicia on here, because uh, obviously there was different printing. But if somebody knows the backstory behind that, because it's the same thing with this first appearance of Profit, look at the coloration differences, like totally different, right? And the inking and everything on there. So... I know that Liefeld eventually went back and kind of redid uh, the first issues of Youngblood to uh, re-script it and all those things, but I wasn't sure about what was going on there. Uh, and then I also just grabbed this because it's just a later issue of Youngblood, which looks totally different than, you know, the quality of what he was putting out at the beginning. But yeah, so that was just a mystery. If you guys can help me solve that, I'd love to. So that is what I got uh, in this haul, in this giant log box that I picked up. I hope you've enjoyed this series this week. A little extra here on the YouTube channel. Speaking of extra, uh, if you want to join our Patreon right now, yes, we are back. Wizards, the Patreon guide to comics is available on Patreon. And when you get over there for five bucks a month, you are getting early access to episodes. They are uncensored and uncut. They're getting to you like up to two weeks early. Uh, so you'll be able to enjoy things that nobody else is seeing uh, because they'll get a very edited version of the episodes. And it'll be like you're there recording it with us, which is sometimes very fun. Uh, additionally, uh, you get to have scans or you know whether it's just specific pages we're going to be talking about or full scans of issues of Wizard Magazine. That might be the value right there, don't you think? Uh, because a lot of people have been asking, hey, is there a digital archive of Wizard? No, there isn't. But we happen to have access to uh, the full run of the magazine, so we're happy to share it with you. Maybe uh, spark some nostalgia. Of course, we're also going to be uh, you know, just talking and interacting with our patrons and sharing a lot of stuff that won't go anywhere on the main feeds as we're planning certain episodes. You'll get you know, a heads up on what's to come and maybe influence what we talk about. So that and so much more. So go on over to Patreon and find Wizards Comics and uh, you're going to have a great time. And speaking of Wizards Comics, at Wizards Comics on Twitter, at Wizards underscore comics on Instagram, wizardscomics.com. If you just want to find our archive of over 180 episodes, a lot of fun stuff there. Again, thanks for checking out this series. And until next time, keep your books bagged and boarded.